The mental health disorder that we selected for this assignment is called agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is a health disorder where you fear and avoid places or situations that might cause you to panic and make you feel trapped, helpless, or embarrassed. If translated, agoraphobia means fear or, or the mark, of the marketplace. They are unwilling to visit unsafe places because they think that doing so will result in triggering an, an anxiety attack or panic attack. Examples are using public transportation, being in an open or closed space, and standing in line or being in a crowd. Agoraphobia symptoms include rapid heart rate, excessive sweating, trouble breathing, feeling shaky, chest pain, dizziness, diarrhea, chills, trembling, numbness, indigestion, and feeling a loss of control. Scientists are still trying to identify the cause of agoraphobia, but they already know that it can relate to the panic disorder. An estimated one third of people who have panic disorder develop agoraphobia. It can also develop by itself. Agoraphobia can affect anyone of any age. It can begin in childhood, but it usually shows signs in the late teens or early adult years, usually before the age of 35, but older adults can also experience agoraphobia. Women are more likely to be diagnosed with agoraphobia than men. Some risk factors of agoraphobia are having a panic disorder of other phobias, responding to panic attacks with excessive fear and avoidance, experiencing stressful life events such as being abused, the death of a family member, relative, or a close friend, or getting bullied, having a nervous or anxious temperament, or having a relative who has had or still has agoraphobia. The effects of this disease for the individual there they are that these situations cause anxiety, and the anxiety is out of proportion to the situation. The individual is always going to try to avoid the situations, or he would invite a companion to go with him. It can cause the individual to feel panic or other disabling systems, limiting life activities in an effort to avoid situations where he can feel embarrassed or uncomfortable. There are three main steps to fight or overcome agoraphobia. A stepwise approach is usually the best way to approach agoraphobia and any underlying panic, panic disorder. Number one, find out more about your condition, the lifestyle changes you can make, and self-help techniques to help relieve symptoms. This includes focus, breathe slowly and deeply, taking regular exercise, having a healthy diet, and avoid using caffeine, drugs, and alcohol. It's also really important that you get a good sleep. Number two, enroll yourself on a guided self-help program with guided self-help. You work through a CBT-based workbook or computer course with the support of a therapist. The therapist works with you to understand your problems and to make positive changes in your life. Number three, undertake more intensive treatments such as cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT or see if your symptoms can be controlled using medication. Cognitive behavioral therapy is based on the idea that unhelpful and unrealistic thinking leads to negative behavior. CBT aims to break this cycle and find new ways of thinking that can help you behave more positively. For example, many people with agoraphobia have unrealistic thoughts that if they have a panic attack, panic attack it will kill them. CBT is usually combined with exposure therapy. Your therapist will set relatively modest goals at the start of treatment, such as going to your local corner shop. As you become more confident, more busy, okay, as you become more confident, more challenging goals can be set, um, such as going to a large supermarket or having a meal in a busy restaurant. A course of CBT usually consists of 12 to 15 weekly sessions, with each session lasting about an hour. In some cases, medication such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, um, also known as SSRIs, can be used as a sole treatment for agoraphobia in more severe cases. It can also be used in combination with CBT or applied relaxation therapy. The stigma related to agoraphobia is that people view other people who have agoraphobia as being paranoid or very odd. People see others that are different, such as people with agoraphobia, as someone who is mentally ill or mentally retarded. People also discriminate, make fun of, and bully people with a mental illness. We can reduce the stigma associated with agoraphobia by talking about it more in public places, such as libraries, schools, and even churches. 
Mental illness has, has no religion or grade nor education. It applies and can happen to anyone around us. We as one nation should gather together as one and talk about mental illness and support each other. This is the only way to reduce the stigma involved with agoraphobia. We must educate others who don't know about the severity of mental illnesses and teach them and teach them. This is the only way.